Hi, my name is Shan Lalwani and I am the owner, director of this firm called Vriksha Nursery. In this section that we're doing right now, we're working with repellents. Repellents in the sense, uh, all the daily pests that you all have in the house, the issues that you have in the house uh, with animals that come in and flies that come in. We have plants that keep certain things away. Uh, I'll be starting with mosquitoes. Uh, we've got, uh, the plant here, this one. Uh, we call these citronella geraniums. Uh, this is what most of your odor moss creams and things like that are made of. Uh, the smell and the oil in the plant is what keeps the mosquitoes away. The other plant right now that I think is extremely effective for things like roaches, fleas for your dogs, lizards at your place and even snakes on the farm is called Roo. Uh, they call called Ruta indigensa. And these plants, again, the oil content is as high as 83%. They're highly, highly effective plants. So we, what we've been doing with these plants is we kind of planted every five feet of your space. Use this in your, the leaves in your mopping liquids. Use these to give your dogs a bath. And they keep the insects away. Same thing, the next thing that I'm gonna move on to are pigeons, because I know a lot of you in the city have been coming to us telling us how to keep pigeons away. We've noted off late that this plant here, it's called a Euphorbia milli. It's got thorns as big as a couple of inches and bright flowers. What we do is we keep them around in balconies and spaces like that. Pigeons generally get scared of this. They don't burrow around it, nor do they like to come near it because they get hurt because of the thorns. The other thing that we have here today are the Euphorbia thyricellis. Now they've got a highly alkaloid sap. Uh, it's really not advisable to keep these around babies and dogs because they're highly poisonous. You keep these in your loft areas, areas where rats generally come up from. Rats come, they chew the sap, with the sap, they kind of burn their entire system, they never turn up again to your space. The other thing that we have noticed here in Bombay is a lot of fruit flies that happen around your fruits, around your plants are in your garden spaces. What we've noticed is citrus plants, be it your sweet limes, mini oranges, with what we have here right now. We have Italian lemons, lemons, they keep tend to keep fruit flies away. Again, the leaves are very effective in keeping fruit flies away. The maintenance of the repellents is generally very easy. You've got the geraniums, the rue, and the mini oranges, which is very, very simple. You need to water them one cup a day they have very basic manure requirements, probably a couple of teaspoons of any vermicompost once a month. The euphorbias that we have, the milli and the tyricelli, milli obviously for the pigeons, tyricelli for the rats, are easier than that. You need to water them once every alternate day, have zero fertilizer requirement, zero manure requirement. Honest suggestion, keep manure away from them, they thrive better. 